A common concern I get from people is, hold on a second, isn't the liver a detox organ? Aren't there going to be lots of toxins in here? Well, the role of the liver is to shuttle any toxins out of the system. And if that's backed up, then those toxins are going to be stored in fat cells, which again, we want to be clearing out these toxins so that they're not going into the fat cells. And it's also really important to enable digestion so there's no backup and clog so that the toxins aren't um, able to escape from the system. So we've got the liver, we've got the molasses, we've got some chicken broth, which this recipe, every single ingredient is just a powerhouse of nutrition. So we've got the broth, which you can use your own um, vegetable stock, but this is ho homemade broth. The reason for the broth is just to soften the liver and enable it to be like really tasty, plus the nutrient aspect of it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix together the broth with a tablespoon of the molasses. Look at that molasses, it's just like really sticky and dense. They like treacle, but way better than treacle in terms of its uh, nutrient content. So it's a bit sticky, we'll leave that there. Then some salt and some pepper. Then the other thing that we need to think about is rather than just thinking about the food itself, how are you cooking the food? And we want to avoid too much cooking at really, really high temperatures. Because what happens is that when a meat is burnt or charred or cooked too much like that, it produces advanced glycation end products. This is what's very much associated with aging, um, free radical activity in the system. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix up some, this is coconut flour, but you can use any gluten-free flour. Mix it up with some mustard powder. This is great. Again, adding heat to the system, so raising your kind of metabolic rate. Turn on the pan, then we're just going to add some coconut oil to the pan. That, get that heated. You want a good sort of medium temperature for this. So what this is doing is this is protecting the outside layer of the meat which is reducing any damage done because this is quite a fragile meat to be using and I would also do this with other so for instance doing kind of beef stroganoff or tenderloin it's always really good to coat with a bit of flour and the great thing about this recipe is that, again it's really quick not too many ingredients. And what you can serve this with, quite often this goes with um, onions and mash. So you could just fry up some onions and some coconut oil and serve it alongside some cauliflower mash, which I'll get onto. Okay, so we've got that nice and brown. I'm just gonna now add in the molasses and the broth. And then the spring onions. Now you can use normal onions, but kind of like spring onions. Okay, so I reckon we'll just put that on a low temp now for a good 10 minutes or so and let that do its job.